Hey golfers, it's Dave from fit to golf This is part one of a three-part review series I'm doing on the new Maltby TS1 forged iron from the Golf Works. In part one, I'm going to review the performance with three lightweight steel shafts, the FST90, the FST115, and the uh, Score LT from True Temper. In part two, I'm going to review the performance of the club using two affordable graphite shafts, the uh, Iron, uh, the DHI series from UST Mamiya, and the uh, MPF Pro series from the Golf Works. And then finally in part three I'm going to review the performance with two affordable but considered premium graphite shafts, the UST Recoil 660 and the Kurokage Black from Mitsubishi. I'll also be including my final review and summary uh, of the club uh, during that third part. And I'm going to try to get these out uh, within a week of each other so you know you're not sitting around in suspense. All right, so let's get into an overview of the club. So first let me say that um, at first glance uh, this is a beautiful forged iron. It is terrific looking uh, in terms of its, its finish, its profile, um, and this is the little brother of the, I guess, fraternal twins of clubs. The, uh, the TS2 is uh, also a two-part forged uh, club, but it's um, more game improvement, a little bit bigger face, a little more off offset, a little stronger loft. This is really considered a player's blade. When you look at it uh, from the top, it has a, a thin top line. Uh, it has a thin sole, just a little bit of offset, and when you set the club down at a dress, at least with the 7-iron, you don't see any of the back of the club. So it really is a, a true player's blade profile. Now in terms of its construction, uh, and I'm kind of happy the Golf Works is doing this, this, this matches some of the newer technology of creating a two-piece hollow-bodied iron and then injecting it with some kind of performance goop uh, to help with sound and feel. You've probably seen reviews of some of the clubs of similar design uh, made by TaylorMade and Ping, and I'm happy to see that Golf Works is, is you know, got a dog in this fight. Um, now, I have to say that uh, I don't quite understand the, the advantage of a, of a, of a two-piece club or a, or a thin forged face. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a psychologist, I'm, I'm, I'm not a physicist, so, you know, I can only tell you how the club head feels or whether it hates its mother. But to me, a, a thin face that's meant to flex uh, means it's absorbing energy versus transferring it to the ball. Uh, and I understand why this happens in drivers. You know, you have a huge face, and to make a driver with no flex in the face, it, it, the, the face would be so thick it'd be unswingable. But if I'm going to be, you know, hammering a nail, I want a, you know, a solid steel head and not, uh, you know, a rubber mallet. So I'm, I'm skeptical about the, the claims that this kind of design can add ball speed. And I'll also say I suspect, this is not a spoiler alert or anything, but uh, I suspect that I don't produce the club head speed to see those kinds of differences. Anyway, all that aside, this is a great looking club with um, modern lofts, the seven irons at 32 degrees. And when you see the data over the next um, three data sets, uh, this review and the other two, um, I'm looking for 150 carry uh, with uh, with this with this loft. Um, in my set of KE4s's, okay, both sets of KE4s's, um, uh, they were at 32 degrees of loft in a seven iron, and I was getting 150 carry. All right, so the first numbers of the. Uh, uh, the, the lightweight steel shafts. Um, so the, uh, in the FST90, this is a regular flex, um, I had a, a ball speed of 103, swing the club at 80 miles an hour, smash factor of 1 1.3, 146 carry, nice launch angle at 19 degrees, and fairly low spinning for a 7-iron, 5261 was the average. For the FST115, this is the, the stiff version of that shaft. The reason I did that is because the FSTs really play uh, way more flexible than the stated flex, and so uh, an and S is really more like a, an R. So in the FST 115, uh, similar results, 104 ball speed, 81 mile an hour club head speed, smash factor of 1.29, 147 carry, uh, again nice uh, launch angle of 18 
degrees and a uh, and decent spin for a strong lofted 7 at 5700. And then finally uh, I hit the uh, score LT by True Temper. This is a regular flex shaft, plays true to flex. And uh, here I also got 104 ball speed, swing at 81 miles an hour, 1.3 smash factor, 145 carry, 18 degrees of launch, and a really nice spin number at 5800. Now hopefully one of these videos I can include uh, some shots of me swinging uh, just so you can maybe hear the sound. It has a slightly different sound. It's a, a, kind of a muted sound. Um, n not, un not unpleasant, but uh, a little bit different than uh, the other clubs that I'm, I'm used to hitting. Uh, kind of took me by surprise at first, but I quickly got used to it. Um, also I have to say, it has a really nice feel. Uh, when you hit the center of the face, it, it feels like a forged club, like there's you know, nothing there in its way. So, uh, so far, you know, this is only part one, um, but so far uh, I'm impressed with the club, not so much in terms of its, its carry, I'm, you know, not quite getting the, the numbers that I'm looking for, but I'm swinging a little slow uh, today. Um, but yeah, looks great, felt great, um, so far so good. So uh, stay tuned, uh, part two will be coming up soon with uh, the two affordable graphite shafts. Um, please subscribe to the channel and uh, stay positive.